okay welcome the fifth session so we have the problem number three under simple stress so for the problem we have here a uh, weight supported by these two cable of different uh, angles so we have here a tension at ac tension at ab so when we have a cable automatic that is already tension especially supporting a uh, weight downwards here so if we're going to have the approach it it can be done by by joint method so this is actually the joint method recall joint method joint method is we are actually establishing the x the x and y axis and then we label all the forces so so if we have the free body diagram as a method of uh, on the method of joints we have here the downwards w and we have this diagonal forces ab tension ab and tension ac so we write the equation equilibrium equation of course because this is a uh, concurrent forces we use two summation forces x and summation forces y is equal to zero so performing this equation we have negative or towards left negative tab times cosine 30 degrees plus a rightward force that is denoted by plus because rightwards tac cosine 50 and then no other forces on the horizontal we equate that to zero already so they know, uh, name this as equation one and then for summation forces y is equal to zero we have two going upwards and one downwards w that is why w is equal to the sum of these two upward component of tab and tac respectively so the the angle here or the function here is sine because that is opposite the angle so the vertical component of tab and tac are respectively opposite the angles so we denoted by sine so this we we tag that as equation two so and these two equations we might say we might assume that anyway from the given we have allowables so the sig the allowable for a b and a c are equal actually equivalent to 30 30 ksi so this is according to the problem the stress in either wire is not to exceed 30 ksi so they have the same uh, allowables or limit so so upon this limit we'll just have to multiply this by its corresponding area say for example uh, we come up with this formula this is the base formula for ab we have sigma ab is equal to tension at ab all over the area at ab by cross multiplication we can say that tab is equal to sigma times area of ab so sigma of ab is 30 times the area 0.4 we have 12 kips similarly TAC the same same allowable times the area 0.5 we have 15 kips so you might say oh this problem is already finished because we have two forces determined here and then all we have to do perhaps you can say that we just substitute it in equation 2 and come up with W. Okay. So, I suggest that you, we do not do this. 
we do not do this uh, scheme because it might be that if we have derived w here we did not satisfy equation one okay we didn't we do not satisfy equation one so this this uh, option is actually an erroneous or wrong option because we disregarded equation one so what we do is that remember that this ac and ab have different forces at the same time they have different cross-sectional area so meaning if the weight is applied at a certain point one of which will first to fail so perhaps ac will start to fail before ab or ab will first to fail and then ac so that is the condition there so instead of this doing doing this we will have a condition wherein we are going to simultaneously compute for w using tab and using tac so use so first using tab so tab here is 12 so tab is, is equal to 12 so what is the corresponding tac if our tab is 12 so we compute this tac from equation 1 okay so from equation 1 we have computing tac for equation 1 we have 12 cosine 30 divided by cosine 50 so we come up with this one so the pair of tab 12 is a tac of 16.17 so this 12 and 16.17 values will now be used on equation 2 to solve for w and substituting these two values on that equation 2 we come up with 18.4 kips w okay so that is on the condition that we use tab first and then derive tac and w and then similarly we do this now using tac so using tac is equal to 15 we derive now tab through equation 1 also by similar procedure we have tab is equal to 15 15 cosine 50 divided by cosine 30 we have 11.13 kips so now if we use tac 15 then we we have tab of 11.13 so these two values now again will be used in equation 2 to derive for w and substituting these two values we have a different result we have 17.06 kips so with these two conditions we are going to choose now between 18.4 and 17.06 so what do you think is it 18.4 or 17.06 so in choosing for the maximum w that the load that this cable could carry we choose always the lower value so this is the answer actually the lower value why lower value because choosing 18.4 would compromise one of the cable so choosing 18.4 would fail either AC or AB. Unlike choosing the lesser one, this AB and AC could resist this lower value. Okay? So that's it. So please stand by for the next video presenting another another alternate solution for this problem.
particular problem. Uh, so have more practice and uh, stay sharp.